All right, quick recap. We've got a sample from a Barry White record. That's been sped up and locked into a T-bar loop. We've got the same thing, but with the drum stripped out. Uh, we've got a bass drum, which I like, a hi-hat, which I hate. In fact, I'll just get rid of it because I'm never ever going to use it. The snap, which I really like, and low power mode. A uh, nice little finger symbol. Right, cool. Now, I think one of the coolest things that has happened with Koala over the last few months, if not years, has been the addition of the synth. So Quokka came out, I think, like just before Christmas. And it's like a pure game changer. So before, if you wanted to add, not that, this one. If you want to add any synths to a track, you had to kind of play a synth and then sample that in, get it from another record or whatever. And now you can record synths straight into, Gua into Koala, which is just great. That's the thing loaded up. That's the default uh, synth there. You can change the presets. You can set your own instruments. Uh, you can obviously play whatever tune you want with it. A little uh, cheat, because I think that's set that note. It's probably C natural. The key that the track I'm going to want to play along with probably isn't C, but rather than trying to work out what key it's in and then play around with that, you can cheat like this. So if you play the sample, and then play. So you just pitch your default note up or down to match what sounds like home. It's going to be the tonic of the key, whatever the sample's in. Just make it play the note that sounds right on that sample. I'm assuming you don't know any theory. Maybe you know it way better than I do, in which case, you know, you'll have already stopped watching. So once you do that, you can then use pentatonic as a scale and it's probably everything on that grid is probably going to sound good because you've got everything in the same key then all the notes on this grid are in the same key as a sample so everything sounds good right they all sound right so the actual preset we've got there like isn't necessarily my favorite we can go into presets here. There's a bunch of them that are built in. There's some good bass ones. This one is cool. I use that a lot. There's a ton of drums that, I don't know, I'm never gonna use those. G-Funk Mama is awesome and kind of fits the same sort of era that we're talking about here. So I'm gonna pick that, I'm gonna go back to the sequence and record a little something, just play around uh, until I've got something that I think I like and then hit record. The note's gone back to C. We need to tune it again. Sorry, that's just from here. Yeah. One thing to know on the grid, the red squares are all the same note, but different octaves apart. So it can be fun to shift up and down octaves and play the same pattern, but go up or down an octave. So something like this is going to be good. Right, I hate that. I'll tell you why, because I've only got two bars. So it's just repeating the same two bars over and over again. And I should have done this earlier, really. It was lazy. Let's double up this. Maybe even do eight bars. Um, no, do you know what? I've made a bit of a mistake there. I'm going to copy this one back over again. Nothing wrong with doing the same thing a few times. This one should be the full loop. So I've got one sequence with a two, which is the instrumental. 
one with a one, which is the full beat. And then that's what I'm going to start messing about with without Quokka on it. Hang on. Yeah. So double up, double up. Now we've got eight bars to play with. Otherwise it's going to sound lazy. Uh, where are we? The nice thing about this is, if you've got notes that you don't really like, you can always move them around. So, sounds fine. I don't like that note there. So, So that note with the whole thing. You can do a mixture of playing on the keypad. You can just enter the notes in yourself. You can play with a keyboard that's Bluetooth MIDI onto the phone. But we don't need to get fancy right now, right? And then of course you can send the synth sound with the bus effects that we talked about last time. Add a bus effect to that. Delay is going to sound cool with that. Maybe even a tape delay is going to sound cool. This hours are fun.